Good morning. We've been thinking a lot about you as we continue to navigate this quarantine time and balancing children and jobs. We realize you may be struggling right now and we wanted to talk with you about a process you may be experiencing, grief. Grief is a nonlinear process. You may bounce around to different parts at different times. We're gonna share with you a little bit about this process to help give names to the experience. Grief is a process that can be applied when a person experiences a loss. This could be the loss of a loved one. It could also be a loss associated with expectations we previously held, hopes or dreams we had, or plans we had made. Losses come in all shapes and sizes, and sometimes when something unexpected happens where we feel very little sense of control, our grief process becomes activated. We are gonna provide a quick overview of the five parts of grief, as well as give some examples about how each part could be sounding to you right now. Grief's five parts include denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance. Let's find out a little more. Denial is usually the first thing we experience in grief. During this, we typically notice that life feels overwhelming and we are having a hard time integrating the reality of our situation. Denial may be the belief that things that we're facing, like COVID-19, are not a big deal and will have little impact on our lives. It may sound like, this whole thing is overblown and just media hype, or it's the same as the flu, which people get every year and hardly anyone dies. Or maybe I'm not old or immunocompromised, so I'm fine to keep moving about as I please. While in time we wanna to get to a place of acceptance, it's useful to know that denial shows up as a way to protect us. When new information is too upsetting or difficult to handle, our brain tries to help us by giving us some time to process it. Please don't be hard on yourself if you've noticed that you've been in denial. It's a normal reaction to a non-normal situation. Have you noticed you're feeling a little more irritable? When you are grieving, anger is a common feeling experienced. Anger can be empowering and it can help us gain control over fear that we may be experiencing. It may also feel endless. The more you are able to recognize and acknowledge it, the more it will begin to dissipate and you will begin to heal. When it is difficult to accept and cope with a challenge, our anger may be extended towards other people regardless of their involvement in the situation. We might find ourselves in more power struggles than before or simply refuse to abide by suggested guidelines. Maybe at some point you have thought, this is a bunch of nonsense. I'm tired of seeing the same people and I'm gonna have friends over anyway. Underneath this anger is pain. It is a lot easier to suppress anger than to feel it. When you can feel your anger, you can take mentally healthy steps forward. When you start to feel irritable, try to channel your frustration in a more productive way. Step away from whatever triggered the frustration and take a deep breath. Take a walk and look at or focus on the things in your environment that bring you joy. Get outside and feel the natural sunlight on your face. Do you have a favorite musician? Is there a go-to song that you can enjoy for the next few minutes? Think of some other healthy outlets you can use to help cope with uncomfortable feelings. Bargaining is like forming a temporary truce, such as if I promise to be the best parent in the world, can this crisis be over and the kids go back to school? Or it might be, I can be around someone if they don't appear to be sick and we both wash our hands really well. We want life to return to what it was before the crisis. We want to go back in time Think about if anything could have been done differently, maybe to prevent the crisis, and we get stuck in the if onlys and what ifs. In this part, our denial has been broken down and we are beginning to recognize the reality of our situation. While we recognize this reality, we are not quite ready to give up the idea that we are still somewhat in control over the situation. 
we try to compromise and find a way out. If you notice yourself bargaining, it might be helpful to focus on what is going right and how you can make things better given the current position, knowing that you can't change the overall situation. With depression, the empty feelings we have been experiencing come to the forefront and we feel grief on a much deeper level. We might feel like this depression will last forever and sometimes it feels like hopelessness. It is the appropriate response to a great loss, such as the freedom to go out into the world and do what we want to do. Since grief is a process of healing, depression is one of the necessary steps along the way. Feelings of depression and despair start when there is no more room for denial. We may focus so much on our own feelings of sadness that we start to think there's nothing out there that can help us feel better. We may focus on how the bargaining, which we talked about previously, did not work. This may sound like, I can't go to work, I can't earn money, pretty soon I'll be broke. Or it may sound like, this epidemic is the new normal, I will have my children with me every day forever. Give yourself some grace. You can get through this. You have made it through every single day of the stay at home order so far. Some days may have been better than others, but you're still making it through. These feelings of depression are just that, feelings. And feelings are temporary. No one feeling lasts forever. Feelings change over time. And just as our feelings change, so too will this circumstance. Allow yourself some time for self-care and find someone you trust to talk to about your feelings. Acceptance doesn't necessarily mean that you are all right or okay with the situation. It's about living with the current reality we are in. It doesn't mean we like this reality, but it means we have stopped resisting it. How can we make the best of the situation even though it's not what we want? Just because we can't leave our house doesn't mean our life has to stop. When we soften and allow the truth of our situation to be, it often opens up our eyes for us to be able to see the opportunities. We covered a lot of space right now in talking about grief. We discussed the five parts of grief, denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance. And we shared that people will move through these different parts at different speeds. We may even bounce around between the different parts of grief and may find ourselves revisiting one or more of those parts more than once. That's okay. Grief is a process that looks and moves differently for everyone. Grief also extends beyond the loss of a loved one. We can experience grief when it comes to the loss of roles, expectations, plans, hopes, and dreams. We are all in this collective experience together. It's okay to allow yourself time to experience these feelings. Give yourself space to safely feel denial, anger, bargaining, and even despair. But please remember that there are people and resources available to help you. While we're not physically together, we can still help support one another in new and creative ways. Thank you for taking a few minutes with us today and please check out our additional resources to find out more about anticipatory grief and grief specifically related to COVID-19. Thank you so much, take care, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.